I am Adil Kumar and in this video I am going to discuss with you a very important strategy which can be used for substitution to find limits. The question here is to evaluate limit when x approaches 1 for square root of x minus 1 divided by cube root of x minus 1. You realize that when you substitute x equal to 1, what do you get? You get square root of 1 minus 1 divided by cube root of 1 minus 1, which is 0 over 0. Now, this is indeterminate form, right? Now, whenever you have 0 over 0, we are clear that there is a common factor in numerator and denominator. And if we could cancel that out, we could find the limit, right? So that means there is a hole, and always a limit can exist when we approach a hole. That's the concept. Now, how to really factor or simplify this? Substitution is a great technique. So we'll see how to substitute. Now, if I rewrite this question, I could write this as limit. x approaches 1. Square root of x is kind of x to the power of half, right? minus 1 divided by cube root is x to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1. Now to find what we should substitute, think about it like this. 1 over 2 and 1 over 3. Now what is the lowest common denominator? What is the lowest common denominator? Lowest common denominator is 6. So the substitution which we should make should be, should be what? x to the power of 1 over 6, let that be equal to u. Do you see that? In that case, if x to the power of 1 over 6 is u, in that case, x to the power of 1 over 3 will be u square, correct? And x to the power of half, which is square root, will be u cube. Do you get the idea, right? Now, as x approaches 1, u will approach 1 also, since x to the power of 1 over 6 also approaches 1, correct? So keeping that in view, we will make this substitution x to the power of 1 over 6 as equals to u. The important thing which we need to understand here is to understand how to get to this substitution, right? Since 2 and 3 has a common multiple of 6, x to the power 1 over 6 equals to u is the right substitute, correct? So we could now write this as equal to limit. u approaches 1. x to the power of half is u cube minus 1. And this is u square minus 1. Now we can factor this, right? So we get limit. u approaches 1. a cube minus b cube formula which is a, I mean, sorry, in this case, a is 1, I mean, a is u. So we have u minus 1 times u square plus u plus 1 divided by, here we'll use difference of square formula, which is u minus 1 times u plus 1, correct? As you can see, the common factors u minus 1 cancel out, perfect? And now we can substitute u equals to 1 here. So we get 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1, which is 3 over 2. So this limit exists, and the answer is 3 over 2, correct? The two formulas which we have used here, let me write them down here. Very important to remember. a cube minus b cube is a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square and a square minus b square is a minus b times a plus b, correct? So the common factor u minus 1 can be easily cancelled. Once it cancels off, you can substitute the value and find the limit. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope this strategy helps you to solve many questions of this level of difficulty. You can always share and subscribe to my videos, and if you like, you can like the video. Thank you and all the best.